This is absolutely gorgeous. camping in the winter is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, I've never done it before and I guess the biggest challenge is making sure you stay warm. Uh, to do that, I'm going to do a couple of things and I'm going to tweak my bed setup. Now, when I first got into car camping, uh, I just kind of threw everything that I had from the house into the car and that was my first setup back in Wisconsin. Let me take you through my setup uh, based on everything that I read uh, and uh, how I decided to go out for the very first time in my car. So here you go. This is my 2013 Subaru Crosstrek. Uh, I love the vehicle um, just because it's a cool vehicle, uh, but it's turned out to be a pretty cool uh, camping, uh, car camping vehicle as well. Let's uh, take you through it. So opening up the back this is how I set up my car for right now on the right hand side uh, that's where I sleep on the left hand side those are my two coolers uh, and I'll get to those in a second but here you can see check out that's where I sleep that's the head um, and down here I have uh, three blankets uh, one down kind of one just uh, a, a really nice heavy one and my Star Wars one. Uh, these are my sheets. Uh, and then I'm on a tri-fold mattress. Let's see, you can see the end of it here. There it is. I just have some old uh, queen sheets on it. Uh, it slept pretty comfortable. Uh, definitely gonna have to tweak some things moving forward, uh, but not bad. Here on the side, two coolers. I wasn't quite sure how much I was gonna need um, and so I got two, one I already had, this one I picked up, um, and, and so far not bad. I'm probably going to have to think about how I use both of them or just use one of them moving forward, depending on how short the trips are. And then over here, this basket right here, or this, uh, plastic container, this is where, uh, I carry most of my cooking stuff. Um, I have some of it out right now. Uh, and then when I sleep at night, it acts as kind of a side table. Uh, just put some stuff there. Uh, so all in all, not a bad setup for the back. Let's take you around to the side. Here, again, you can see one of the coolers in the back here. Underneath here, there's some space to put stuff. Um, I have some dry foods, things like that. Um, my cooking utensils not bad place to keep stuff and then in the front don't judge me but this is what the front looks like um i brought a lot of stuff this time i wasn't sure how much i was actually going to need this is a table um, which is actually a pretty cool table but i i have a camping table here so i don't really need it um, but you can see here i just put some stuff up in front um this is uh, my camera bag, uh, just uh, my regular uh, work bag. Um, looks pretty cool here. Let's go around to the other side. And here you go. This is the front side. This is where I keep all of my clothes in a bag. I have a little trash here. Um, it's pretty easy where I keep some stuff up here. Uh, I did pick up this uh, uh, shade for the front window, uh, kind of blocks things out, which is kind of nice. I tell you, one of the hard things was uh, I wear contacts and I had to put them on this morning. I had to actually use a side mirror to get my contacts in. So that was pretty interesting. And then of course you can see the back here of uh, the sleeping platform. And just to make it feel a little like home, Pick this up at Dollar Tree. 
uh, nice to just wash off my uh, shoes before I get in, but just a nice sentiment to have as I camp. Then early last year when I went out here in the Pacific Northwest for the first time, I had another setup for my bed. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you how I car camp currently uh, and talk a little bit about the things that I wanna do moving forward. I think that this is a viable form of getting out and I do like it and, and I've tweaked some things from even the first time I went car camping. But now, let me show you how I'm doing it in the Pacific Northwest. So this is my current setup, how I have it laid out uh, when I sleep. Um, on the left-hand side, I have my cooler and then uh, the box that I carry all of my kind of kitchen stuff in, things like that, some water down here. Uh, this is the bed. And yes, I am repping uh, my Star Wars. Uh, this is a four, inch memory foam which i just have um some sheets on from home this is uh, like a queen sheet but you could use just a, a twin sheet um it sleeps very comfortably and then on this side you can see underneath that padding i have a it's one inch thick i think and it's two by four uh and i lay it out um I lay the uh, the mattress on top of that, and it stays really, um, really straight uh, and comfortable. Underneath, I have some storage um, and uh, some, you know, emergency stuff for the car. Uh, I brought a toolbox, have my sneakers, um, and an extra can of propane. Um, and that's what it looks like. These again. I cannot emphasize enough. Uh, these are mesh uh, the screens. Um, you can kind of see the window is all the way rolled down, so it, it helps to get some airflow into the, the car. The front of the vehicle, yeah, I gotta get better at this, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, I got my work bag here, uh, my clothes, and just stuff that I put there. Um, my hiking boots are there. Again, this is the, the back side of that storage, um, and it looks pretty good uh, in terms of that. Uh, again, pretty comfortable to sleep in um, overnight. My other mesh screen, this is the back side, um, and this is uh, one of my solar bricks. Uh, I have to obviously make a decision at some point if I'm gonna get something more than that. So I have a solar brick. I also have another uh, battery brick that I use. I'll put links into the description below on both of those. Um, I have a little fan that I blow. Uh, and then uh, this is my Wonder Boom, which I love. Uh, and then just my earphones. Uh, again, some more storage underneath here. This is usually where I put all of the electronics and stuff when I'm transporting it back and forth. Um, and this is like my Monica Geller closet right here. This is the driver's side. Um, and at night I put my spices and things here. This is an extra table I always carry with me. Um, and this is a camper uh, um, uh, chair, which I'll probably bring out today. This is my hiking backpack. Um, and then under here, that is the stove, um, which I am uh, loving. I love that Coleman stove. So that is the look at how I have things laid out. Again, um, not a bad way to do it. Uh, I still think there's uh, room for improvement. Later in the year, I tried another setup in my bed and that was okay. Mixed results on that one making some uh, modifications so we'll see how it goes this time and i'm adding a new product uh, to this process so we'll see how it turns out um, and then uh, we'll sleep on it i'll let you know how it goes uh, and then that's basically it uh, you know the one thing that you want to make sure that you do when you're out even in your car rv or wherever is have a good night's sleep so hopefully this setup is something that you can do uh, and you'll find it fairly easy so let's get it started 
So whenever I arrive to a park, the first thing I do is like to set up my camp, set up my car and, and the sleeping situation for me. So um, I have a wooden board uh, that I lay in the back and you can see it here. It's uh, two feet wide uh, by four feet long and it's about an inch, inch and a half, I believe. Uh, so I take my uh, front chair and push it up as far as I can uh, and then I take everything out that I can uh, and slide the board up a little bit and you can see it here. The next thing I do is I work with what I call my basement. This is a, a suitcase that I have that's a little banged up uh, but I carry my hiking boots in it, I carry my window shades in it and a couple of other things. Uh, I take all of those out uh, and then I put it near the head of the bed. I lay it down there uh, and then I also use um, my tool kit that I carry with me as well. Uh, and then I put the board right back on top of it and that evens it out, which is really important when I am sleeping. After that, it's time to use the tri-fold mattress and lay that out as well. And that goes right on top of the board. Uh, again, I will put a link to all of these materials in the descriptions below. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and pick up some of them, you can figure out how to do it. And this is the way it looks like. Uh, and it's all pretty level. And honestly, this has been very comfortable to sleep on in the past. This time I'm making a little bit of a modification. I'm using the King Chi mattress pad, which I'm actually gonna lay on top of my tri-fold mattress. Uh, and this is supposed to make a big difference and, and be a little bit more comfortable. So we'll see how it all works out. Uh, it comes nicely packaged. Uh, you just roll it out into the uh, place that you want to sleep, whether it's the, the ground, a tent, or in this case, the car. Uh, and I just uh, lay it out here and then slide it up to the top. Um, it's a little bit longer than my trifold, so I had to slide it up just a little bit. And then on the back of the mattress, there's a little tab that you open. There it is right there in the corner. Uh, and that lets air into the mattress and it, um, uh, it essentially blows up. After that, it's just putting the sheets on. I use an old queen set of sheets that I had at home. It works perfectly. And then of course I'm representing with my Star Wars blanket. So that's my setup for my bed in my car. It'll be interesting to see how it goes with the Big Chi mattress pad. Uh, I'm not sure that I did it correctly, uh, but we'll find out in the morning. We'll see you then. So the experiment with the bed is um, going to continue to be an experiment. There were a couple of things that I really liked about uh, my new setup and a couple of things I still have to figure out. The first um, was leveling out the uh, board. Normally I use the basement or the rolling bag and I have it standing up uh, vertically. Uh, this time I laid it down horizontally and it got uh, the board a little bit more level and so that felt a lot better than normally. Uh, in the past I had left it up a little bit uh, and I was sleeping at an angle so that felt a little bit better. What I don't know whether or not it felt good or not was the Big Chi sleeping pad. Uh, partially because I still don't know if I uh, did it correctly. There were no instructions with uh, how to roll out the pad and um, let the air in or out of it. Um, there is a, a little tab at the corner of it uh, which allows air to come in and out and I'm not quite sure how to use that yet so I have to do some more research. Uh, I'm not saying no to the sleeping pad uh, but right now we'll see. Um, what I did is I put that sleeping pad on top of my normal four inch pad which I have loved um, and I thought that would just add a little extra to it but uh, I'm not so sure how it uh, all worked out in the end we'll have to continue to see. 
One of the things about car camping is you're always tweaking to find the best situation for you. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to modify my sleeping situation until it feels just right. And now I'm gonna try this new version. So uh, I have a little heater um, that is gonna work with my EB. 3A uh, Blue Eddy power station, which I love. And this is only 200 watts, so it can be used with the Blue Eddy uh, EB3A, uh, which is nice. I tried it at home, tested it out, didn't blow anything and everything's okay. Uh, and then the biggest thing that I'm gonna do is I got this. This is the North Face um, sleeping bag that I picked up at REI. I took you back a couple months ago um, for a trip to REI with me and uh, I used some birthday money uh, and picked up some things and one of which was this sleeping bag. It's uh, supposed to be rated at 20 below so um, I don't think it's going to get that cold but it's going to be helpful. So um, both of these should help me get through the night. Now the only way to really figure it out, go to bed see what happens in the morning. And oh, in case you're wondering, yeah, I am gonna shut the back of my car when I go to sleep tonight. So the sun is almost down. It's time to start setting up the bed. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, I, I've done a couple of different bed setups. This time I'm using my North Face sleeping bag that I picked up from REI. I'm gonna lay it out. I still have my uh, sheets and I have a blanket. So it's still early. I'm just gonna hang and maybe read a little, uh, watch a little YouTube on my phone uh, before I uh, go to sleep. And when I go to sleep, about 10 minutes before, uh, I'm gonna turn on the heater to heat up the car for a little bit, uh, then get into the North Face um, sleeping bag, and hopefully that'll be it. I will go to the bathroom one last time before I shut it all down, but uh, that's the plan. Hopefully it'll work out. This is supposed to keep me warm. It says uh, 20 degree Fahrenheit. It's the Echo Trail bed heat seeker, the North Face. Let's hope it works. Right now, it's bedtime. So in the new 4.0 version of my bed in my car, um, what I do before I actually leave for a trip is semi set up the bed. That way, when I get someplace, it's a little easier to just set up the rest of the bed and just get comfortable. And because in this case, I was going car camping in the winter, uh, I didn't know how cold it might be when I got to the location that I was going to. So I wanted to make sure that the bed was almost already ready. Um, so that later in the night, after I did my hike, after I ate, um, I could get into bed pretty easily. The nice part about having my sleeping bag is I just kind of rolled it out over everything. Um, normally I just use some sheets and a cover. Uh, I did lay that out as well, uh, but again, I'm using my sleeping bag for the very first time, the North Face sleeping bag, uh, and so we'll see how it works. 
So these neighbors have been kind of noisy. Um, they ran a generator for a while. Not sure you're supposed to have a generator here. Um, now their lights are on and it's right across and they're making some noise. Um, where I'm staying right now, Site 22, it's kind of right on the road area of the park where you park. And um, there's not a lot of depth in the um, the parking where I'm at. So you kind of hear all the road noise and you definitely hear um, neighbors like that, which makes sleeping um, not as easy as it needs to be. I will say so far the, uh, the sleeping bag has been really good, so that's nice. Hopefully they turn the lights off, quiet down. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get back to sleep. Good morning. So the sleeping bag experiment worked out for the most part. Um, I have to tell you, the North Face sleeping bag was outstanding. Uh, it kept my body uh, really warm throughout the night. The rest of the outside got cold um, outside of the sleeping bag. And, you know, I had a hat on and and all sorts of things but uh for the most part i have to tell you um the sleeping bag uh kept me warm it got down to uh you know under 30 or right around 30 last night um so it's like 33 this morning and it feels good um so i have to um say yes to the um uh, north face sleeping bag Oh, and I don't want to forget the heater that I had in the car, my little heater. I'll put a link to both the heater and um, the uh, sleeping bag in a link below. The heater did a pretty good job. What I would do is um, turn it on for about five, 10 minutes. Um, the Blue Eddy uh, EB3A was able to handle the load. Um, and it helped to, you know, take the chill out of the air for just a little bit. Um, but it is, um, a, a nice little addition, uh, to helping me stay warm, uh, all throughout the night. Uh, this is another setup, uh, for sleeping that, uh, I will probably keep in my back pocket. Uh, obviously, I don't know how much I'm going to go out uh, winter camping, but, uh, you know, even when I start to go out kind of regular car camping, um, you know, I may keep my sleeping bag with me, um, especially early in the year where it'll probably be cool at night. Um, but right now, uh, I'd have to say it's a win-win for uh, sleeping setup 4.0. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on my website at RVJedi.com. Make sure when you go out there and car camp, especially in cold weather, you stay warm the best way possible. Do it with a sleeping bag. Do it with a heater. Do it however you need to, but just have fun. We'll see you next time.